welcome back to my channel today i wanted to discuss press kits with you it's something that is overlooked by authors um, because of the fact that we're not always used to especially um, self-published authors because we're not always used to being interviewed by different people so what's nice about having a press kit is that you can be ready if someone wants to um, interview you Plus, I've seen an author that I watch um, her YouTube channels as well, or channel. Um, she actually has the press kit as a downloadable link on her website. So that if you want to do an interview on your blog with her, you can just download the press kit and do it. Which saves her having to answer emails and stuff unless you want to ask her extra questions, I suppose. Um, that's if she can answer them, if she's very busy um, which I thought was very clever of her actually she looks she's very organized which I absolutely love because I like being organized as well um, that's one thing about a press kit is it makes you a little bit more organized as an author and if you are um, anything like me then you know that you thrive on organization you like to have your life organized as much as possible that doesn't mean that we don't like having life throw surprises at us every now and again or nice surprises and being spontaneous but um, at least if there's nothing happening we know what's going to happen you know if there's nothing spontaneous happening then at least we do know that we are organized and able to get things done um, so that's one thing about being organized so what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you what you would need in a press kit I did do a blog about this but I think it was a little bit more of an in-depth press kit um, this one is um, actually quite simple and very quick and easy to do um, you don't have to have a lot of time because I know authors when you say to them they need to create a press kit they their mind starts short-circuiting and they don't want to really do it <laughs> so this one is a quick and easy one so first of all the the most easiest thing is you need to create a folder for each book why I say for each book, we will see as I talk what, why you would need one for each book. But in each book folder that you've got, um, create a folder that says press kit and then the book's name. Or you can say the book's name first and then press kit. It doesn't really matter. In the folder, you will need the following items. So first of all, you're going to have a um, folder that says images. Those images would be images of your book images of you as the author even images of you with your book if you've done any photo shoots lately you know which uh, if you're lucky enough to have that and also any flat layers with your book in it if that's you know what you also have done the next thing that you will need is an about the author page uh, this page will be about you try not waffle too much so just give them a brief overview of who you are and what you stand for this will basically be the same words that you've got everywhere so if you do something like NaNoWriMo this will be what you'd put there as who you are um, if you've got a Goodreads page which I really hope you do it will be what you know about the author so anywhere where it says about the author on any of your social medias or anything where you need an about page even on your blog site or your website then it will be that information that you've got there then also what you would add onto that page is where they can find you as a person so that would be your blog or website um, it would be your social media pages um, you know like instagram facebook twitter wherever and then also it would be your amazon author page which i really also hope you have and also your goodread author goodreads author page um, like i said i really hope you have that <laughs> so it's something that you need to look into if you don't um, so you would add those links over there as well so that is your about the author page okay then you would need your next sheet that you would have in there is your books press release page now this is the reason why i say you would need one for each book is because of these pages because this is going to be different for each book so in the press release page you would obviously have a picture of your book cover just the front cover and then you would have um, like when your publication date was, what the name of your book is, if it's a series, what the name of the series is, your name as the author, 
you would also then have like your blurb in that section there then it would also it's also good practice to have at least two reviews over there if you can if you know if you've got any so then under that you would have the ISBN number and the ASIN number which is your Amazon number and then what you would add to that page is the links of where they can buy your book so this is not the links where they can find you but it's the links where they can buy your book so you know Amazon or um, Barnes and Noble wherever they wherever your book is available that is what you would put over there you would also add any bookshops where your book is available obviously you can't put a link there unless the bookshop does online sales um, but at least you can just say it's being sold at like Scoob's Theatre of Books in Monte Cassino. You know, then people that are in that country would know where to go then. Also, if you've got a lot of reviews, if you're one of those lucky people that um, actually have people that review your book for you um, because of your ARC team or your beta readers or whatever, then you can take those reviews and put them on a separate sheet and you can actually call it your review sheet. Um, I would say only do about six or seven otherwise it can get a bit boring if there's like a lot more than that because um, people can only basically say sort of the same thing but it's just nice to show people that you have someone uh, a lot of people reviewing the your book and that so if you want to be a little bit extra as they say then you can add the review sheet and then lastly it, you need to add a sheet that is labeled um, sample interview questions now on this page, you can have all of the um, questions that you would like to answer in an interview. The reason why you do this is so that when you send it out, you've basically answered the questions already, unless they have any extra questions. But then at least most of them are answered and you don't have to rack your brain to try and answer the questions. You've done it already. Because a lot of these questions are the same for each interview that you do. So the only thing you'd really change in those questions is if they ask you about your book, then you would change it for each book that you are doing. But, um, and also if you're busy with something, what you're busy with at the moment, you know, that would change as the days go along. Um, but otherwise, all the other questions, why do you write, you know, stuff like that, would be the same for each book. Um, and it's just nice to have it up front so you don't have to think about it um, when they send it to you because you might be busy, with your marketing, editing, doing your next book, whichever thing, you know, like authors, we're very busy. So um, whatever you're busy with, then at least you don't have to worry about it um, when you want to answer those things. So it's a good idea to have your interview questions ready um, as sample interview questions. Um, there is a chance that they might have other questions that they, they want you to answer, but at least then most of your answers are already done and dusted and you don't have to worry about it. So that is basically your press kit. Um, if you have anything of importance that relates to your book that you need to add, then obviously you can add it as well, um, depending on what genre you're writing in. Um, but this is the basic press kit that you would need for most genres. Um, and you can just save that. And if someone asks for an interview, you send them your press, your press kit. Um, it's as simple as that. If you liked this video and it was helpful, please can you give it a thumbs up and please can you click on the subscribe button to show your support for my channel and um, I would really appreciate it. It's down here somewhere. <laughs> and then also my social media will be in the description block below so you can just go and check it out. My blog is there as well which has got a lot of things in it um, that you might find helpful for you as well. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Enjoy your moments. Goodbye.